Welcome to Toy Polloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now a while back I showed you a way that I was using to re-chrome the heads of Micronauts Time Travellers and that was using some chrome spray that you can buy off the shelf. It's about £6 a can and it did a reasonable job. If we have a look here this is one that I've sprayed with the chrome paint and you can see that's not a bad chrome finish. It's a little bit on the dull side but uh, it doesn't look too bad. If we look at this guy here you can see how much shinier the original chrome was. So it's not quite there but it was a good sort of uh, starting point and better than some uh, chroming that I'd seen before. Uh, but obviously things move on and since then uh, I found a new uh, way of chroming that I want to have a go at here and see uh, whether it will actually look any better. Uh, you can buy these pens called uh, Molotow Liquid Chrome. These have been out for a few months now. I picked these up a little while ago and I've been doing some tests on them before I wanted to show them on video. So uh, this is a four millimeter pen and I've also got a one millimeter nib pen here. Now these cost, uh, these are about uh, seven pounds each i think for the two it cost me just over 20 pounds including postage they're not that easy to get in the uk but uh, you can find them there's a few art shops that sell them so i bought two of those and today we're going to give those a go now if you're a micronauts collector you'll well know this uh, situation that you have a few sort of battle damaged micronauts lying around and here are a couple from my spares pots this guy here is missing almost all of the chrome on his head and this guy here has a little bit left on his face uh, so we're going to use this one as the sort of donor case and uh, have a go at re-chroming him using the pen so first thing we've got to do is to take the head off so just quickly unscrew that and the head will just pop out you don't actually have to unscrew the whole of the body and there we have the head and you can see actually that the sort of the ball joint part of the head still has the chrome on it so I'm not going to remove this chrome you can remove it if you want to uh, just use some oven cleaner drop this in oven cleaner for a few hours and that will strip off the chrome but in this instance I'm not going to bother we're going to just work straight onto this head now I have this uh, little clipper tool which is very useful because it has these little crocodile clips on and I've held the head in that because really you don't want to touch this while you're doing it because the paint will go everywhere and this should enable me if I uh, loosen this little screw here I should be able to uh, rotate this around and work on him uh, without sort of getting the paint on myself uh, so that's going to be how I'm going to do it and I'm going to start off using the four millimeter of the uh, liquid chrome pens if I take the lid off you can see that the nib of this is quite a large nib and I've got a little bit of paint per here just so I can get the, the ink rolling on that so I'm going to gently uh, draw all over this guy's head and as you can see the chrome is instantly looks pretty impressive So that's about all I can do with the four millimeter nib. You can't get into these small details. So that's why I have a one millimeter one here. Again, you can see the nib is nice and small and I can now work into the smaller details around the eyes and under the nose and get the chrome into all of those little places. Again, around the neck joint is a little bit uh, fiddly to get to with the big pens. There we have it. Now, what you've got to do is let this dry and let it dry for a long time. If you touch it before it's dry, it will go dull. So we're going to leave this. Well, I'm actually going to leave this for a good 24 hours because uh, it just I found it needs that long to dry to really create a sort of good coat. Sometimes when you let it dry, you can start to see little gaps, but uh, you can just easily fill those in. It does seem to blend in quite nicely. So let's leave this for 24 hours and we'll come back and see what it looks like then. It's now been 24 hours and as you can see the uh, pen has dried pretty nicely and you've got a really good shine. If I hold this up to the camera you can see 
how shiny that is. So I'm going to swap one out onto another uh, Micronaut there and uh, we can compare all three. We can compare the original, the one I sprayed with paint and the ones that I've done with this uh, Molotow Chrome. So let's swap that out and we'll see what they all look like together. And here are the three versions. As you can see, it's actually quite hard to tell the difference between the original and the ones done with the Molotow Chrome. The original one I did, which was done with the spray paint, does look pretty dull. If I compare it now with the Molotow Liquid Chrome Pen, you can see uh, the results are much better and much shinier. Now, the Chrome Pen, uh, if you touch it too much, it still does dull over time. So it's best just to do these for uh, display purposes. But uh, the results are really nice. If I just swap out, we'll bring in an original one. We can hold those together. You can see it's a pretty good uh, sort of comparison to the original Chrome. It's still obviously not quite the same, but it is a good result. So I'm really pleased with how well that's come out. So the pens you're going to need to do this are called a liquid chrome and they're made by a company called Molotow. You can search for these online and they do come up. They're a little bit easier to find in the US. In the UK they're a little bit, uh, uh, well just not many companies seem to sell them at the moment but I imagine they will get very popular as they are very good pens. I hope this video has been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Poloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.